Alright guys, MJ Designs. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a basic intro on Cinema 4D. Alright, so let's get to it. Um, you're going to open up Cinema 4D and you'll come across this. This is for beginners by the way. So, um, so you want to go up to File, New. And that comes up again just to make sure. Use this button here in the corner to turn. Um, you use this button, this tab here, to move left and right up and down. And you use this if you drag it left to zoom out and right to zoom in. Alright, go. Alright, guys. So first things first, you need to click this tab here, and that's your render settings. Do this before anything else, so it doesn't change once you're finished. So what I normally render as is 1280 by 720 HD. It's up to you then again, but YouTube size is 10, 1280 by 720 sorry so that's what I use um, film format you can use HD but you can use automatic as well and you're going to make sure frame is set to all frames um, so when you go and save you, you need to click path and I'll save this one to my desktop and I'm going to call it basic intro you can call it what you like and save it where you like Alright, so you're going to come down to format and there's a big drop down menu. I normally render mine as a quick time movie. Um, I think that's the only thing that works really. Well, works, works really well. Um, yeah, so that's what I normally render it as. If you're using reflection, anti aliasing is always a good one to use. Um, click best and make sure this is on 2x2. Two I will be using reflection in this tutorial just to give you a brief idea of what it looks like and how it how it affects your intro. All right, so once that's done, you need to position yourself in the center or wherever really. You're gonna go up to the top and click MoGraph. You're gonna go down to Text Object, and a nice little text comes up here. You use the red arrow to go left and right. You use the blue arrow, sorry, to go back and forth. And you use this arrow to go up and down, alright? Um, yeah, so I'll put that in the middle. And you come down to this tab here. Um, th basically, this text box is what is your text, basically. So I'm going to type in MJ Designs. Click off, and that should appear. Um, depth, this is basically how far back the depth is so you can have it at or that or that uh, this sorry I'm gonna go with 70 um, I just think it's right size to have really um, and it looks alright like once the animations all done so to change font you're gonna come down here and you're gonna click font and the font tab should come up so just pick what font you like really um, not too sure what one I'm gonna pick, so I will go with um nope um right, I'm gonna look for mod. Alright, see how this is. Um not the best fonts I've ever seen. Not the best fonts I've ever seen, but if you render it, you will be able to make out what it looks like. Um, or maybe not. I'll just I'll just put it to something basic, really. I'll put it to this. Um, let me just change that. Don't want to tell it when it's regular. All right. So, oh, and this button here just renders your current thing and what it looks like. So it just gives you a brief idea of what it's gonna look like before you finally render it. Alright, so now to add some colours. Um, a nice little effect you can do is come up here, click Edit, Copy, or Control C and Control V to paste, and Edit, Paste. What this does, it gives you a new layer. Um, you do that, and I hover over the top, select Depth, go down to 50. Yeah, 50. Use the blue arrow to drag it into the centre. Come back down. I'm gonna come over to caps. This little tab caps. Start. Fill it cap. 
end fillet cap. And if you click the render button, you'll see it gives it a nice beveled edge. Um, that's quite effective and it looks better than just the normal text. Alright, so now to add some colours. Um, to make a new material, you double click this tab here and this should come up. So once you double click that, this window should pop up also. So you're going to go up to colour, and select the colour and select the colour you want. I'm going to go with a light blue. Alright, um, I'm going to go down to reflection. We'll have reflection. Make sure you tick the box as well and select the name. I'm going to click this arrow here next to texture. Go down to Fresnel, gives it a nice reflection. Um, I'm going to drop the brightness down a little bit, don't want it too bright. Um, about that will do for me, just for this tutorial. And you're going to click exit. I'm going to, I'm going to make one more because I want, I want the beveled edge to be black. So I'm going to select color and black. And that, that can be that one. Alright, so. If you want, if you want the beveled edge different color, select the color you want down here and simply drag it over until the arrow is down on the text object. Now select your front text and drag this material over until the arrow is down, and there you have it. There's your basic text. Um, now also, if you're using a black black edge, sometimes it's best to use a, a plain. Yeah, play. Um, I'm gonna use nines, make it cross, and nines to make it wide. I'm gonna use this arrow to drop it down a little. All this does, it gives it a floor kind of effect. Or if you want floor, you can click this, hold it down, and go over the floor. But it's too late now. I've, I've used play. Um. Yeah, so basically, just use this to get a nice little angle kind of thing, and select render, and there's your text. All right, so as you see, where the floor, where the um, where the plane ends, that's where it kind of ends on the screen. All right, so now that you've got your colours, we'll get into the animation side of things. Um, so you're gonna come up here, hold down, hold down the left click and head over to camera and this just brings up a camera obviously and uh, this is your first first step to animation now you're going to go over and click camera scene cameras and select camera all this does is it puts the camera in the view of what you're looking at so you don't have to move the camera around or anything like that all right so next um all right say so i'm going to start the intro and I'm going to be over here. Alright, so basically these, these two lines are what you, what it's going to come out like. And this is basically the camera lens. Anything outside of this line won't be shown on the final, on the final outcome. Alright, now there's a button down here. And this is for a keyframe. Alright, so you're going to click that first. And that should pop up this little thing underneath the green square. That means you've entered the keyframe. So now I'm going to drag the timeline key, uh, I'll put it on 50 for the now, and I'm going to move the camera. Um, I'll move the camera over here, a bit back, um, looking down at the text, and I'm going to click the keyframe again, okay, and that should pop up. Now I'm going to go up to, up to 100, type make the timeline 150 and I'm gonna go up to a hundred and now I am going to I'm sorry um yeah so you got that keyframe there um I'm gonna select keyframe again once you're there um yeah you're gonna go up to a hundred and now I'm going to make it so the camera ends up through the text. Alright, and now you're going to click keyframe again. Alright, so if we go back to this if we go back to the start, you'll see how it comes out like. Alright, so 
obviously it's 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 such a basic tutorial but you know as you practice and the longer you practice the better you become and the better angles you're going to create so this is just a basic one really um yeah you can add other things um obviously reflection you can reflect your text on the floor i'll show you how to do that in a minute um over here so if you've got reflection on on a material like me um select plane or your floor and drag a reflection material over there and when you render the text it should reflect off the floor there we go um if there's a gap that means the text isn't on the floor so we're gonna select yeah we'll merge both of the text objects so they move together um so click group objects so they're all as one now i'm gonna I'm just gonna drag that down a bit and see if it's online yeah that looks nice all right so i'm gonna play it again just a basic tutorial really showing you the basics of animation and the basics of cinema 4d and from here you should you should go far really so um once that's done you've already got your render settings done um you're going to click this button to render and i'm going to finish by letting it render out um yeah it's uh, this has been mike and i hope i've helped a lot or in a little way i hope i've given you a brief idea of what cinema 4d can do for you um so if I have helped, please click the thumbs up and the subscribe button. Keep you updated with more tutorials and speed art. Alright guys, I'll speak to you later.